Hi, I'm Vicar Brandy. In the month of February, we celebrate Valentine's Day. How many of you celebrate Valentine's Day? I'm curious, how do you celebrate? Do you craft little cards with construction paper and crayons and maybe those little doilies and send messages of love and friendship to your friends at school? Maybe you call your grandparents or aunts or uncles and let them know that you're thinking about them and you care about them very much. Maybe you receive gifts. Maybe like a little box of heart chocolates or a stuffed animal. Maybe you give gifts as an expression of your love for others. Well, this holiday actually has an interesting history. And so today I thought we would read a little bit about Valentine's Day. So we're gonna use this book, The Story of Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day, we give cards, cookies, and candies to the people we like. In school, children decorate their classrooms with red hearts and they give Valentines to their friends. Now this year may be a little different because we're not always in the classroom like we have been in previous years. But that doesn't mean you can't share a Valentine with somebody. You could send an email or call them. But do you know why we celebrate Valentine's Day? Long ago in the city of Rome, there lived a man named Valentine. He was kind and all the children loved him. One day, the king of Rome made a law. He said, all young men will be in my army and they cannot ever get married. The young men and women were very sad. Valentine tried to help the young men and women, and the king became very angry and threw Valentine in jail. The children were sad to see Valentine in jail, so they made cards and wrote letters and sent them to Valentine. One little girl who was blind brought food to Valentine. He thanked her and prayed for her. And then a miracle happened. The little girl could see. Valentine sent the girl a letter and signed it from your Valentine. On February 14th, we remember Valentine. All over the world, people send cards called Valentines to celebrate this special day. On Valentine's Day, we show our love for our friends and family with gifts and cards and other expressions of love. Just maybe even a call or a text or an email. And like Valentine and the children of Rome, we remember that all God's children should love one another. And that's probably one of the most important parts about Valentine's Day is that we share our love of God and God's love with everyone we meet. Now it's easy to want to send Valentines and expressions of heartfelt friendship to people that we know and care about. But sometimes God calls us to extend ourselves beyond that and to share our expressions of love and care and God's love and care for all of creation with maybe somebody we're not really close to. Think about that. Is there a friend in your classroom who maybe you don't talk to often? Maybe they need a Valentine and know that they are also a loved child of God. So let's think about that this Valentine's Day. Who are the people that might need to hear a warm word of encouragement? Maybe it's a grandparent who you haven't gotten to see in a while. Or maybe it's a friend in our classrooms, even virtually over Zoom, who could maybe use a little message from a friend to just say hi. These are the ways in which we share God's love with one another. The other thing I wanted to point out in this story is that Valentine stood up for people. 
Valentine was an upstander and he paid a price because if you remember, the emperor of Rome sent him to prison. But that's an important part of showing God's love for others too, is when we become upstanders. Meaning if you see an injustice, if you see something happening that's not right, you have to stand up for that person who is enduring that impression of that injustice. So remember, even in school, online or in person, always be an upstander, just like St. Valentine. I hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. And please always know that you are loved by God.